what up how's it going so about to watch this next film and it's been requested a lot along with some other films and i decided to do a little bit of research on google to see what i'm in for and it's held in high regard this film um bakurao or bakurao i'm sure i'm pronouncing it terribly uh either way i know i sound silly but um I looked it up and it's held in high regard and I'm not saying that's going to have any sort of play into whether how I feel about this film, but I will say that it's good for me to get an outline. So then I saw it's held in high regard. Let me watch the trailer. I watched the trailer and I'm looking at it like, okay, looks dope. Like, but then it starts to say things that I wasn't expecting. Like it's a Western that's, in the same vein as a Sergio Leone film. And for me, that's some high regard, right? Because once I got older and started watching films and trying to like broaden my horizons basically, and I started watching like Kurosawa or Sergio Leone, trying to see what directors in my lifetime are going for, you watch Sergio Leone and you get it, right? So for them to say this is in the same vein, I'm really looking forward to see how that can be and what they're going for and how they're going to portray it. So I'm looking forward to this. Bakura. Let's go ahead and get this started. Kick, please. That was a casket? Just a bunch of caskets? Huh? Dang. Slump. If you go, go in peace. Estão procurando Lunga. E a recompensa que estão pagando pela cabeça dela é boa, filho. Já com uns quatro meses que Lunga veio aí, meteu bala aí, foi bala pra caralho. Ainda mataram três ainda. Ana Domingas. <risos> She's a bitch, ainda baixou a seguir. Damiano. The fuck? What? Interesting. What's in the suitcase? Medicine? She had a lab coat on. Yeah. Yeah. God damn! Yo, what's up with her? She said that's her friend now all of a sudden. Na família tem de pedreiro, a ah, cientista, tem professor, tem médico, tem arquiteto, Michê e puta, mas ladrão ela não gerou nenhum. Tem gente em São Paulo, Europa, Estados Unidos. Hum. I can't lie, that put me in a trance. It was haunting. Beautiful, well shot, and I still don't know what's going on yet. But that procession, the way it was filmed was dope. What was that 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 dude gave her, man? That that like pill thing. That was crazy. And then she saw water coming out the casket. Yeah, aquela história de ser Rita não foi tu não? Seu Plino, aquilo ali foi outra coisa. Outra coisa da mesma coisa, pacote. Inclusive, o número 6 não sou eu. Tô levando um crédito de graça. Só não reconhece que não te conhece. Bacurau não podia com Carmelita. Agora ninguém pode com o doutor Domingas. A mulher dela pode. O professor Bacurau tinha antes que tá aí. É, ué. Vamos tirar de mapa. Vamos entrar em satélite. Serra Verde. Ué. <laughs> if it ain't on satellite mode, something up. God damn. Eu tô trazendo só coisa boa. Tem livros pra escola, que tem a melhor biblioteca da região, não é verdade? Eu estou aqui pra cuidar de vocês, a verdade é essa. A eleição tá chegando, como todo mundo sabe. 
e vamos continuar trabalhando juntos. Hein, gente? Vamos chegar. Vem pra cá, deixa de pantinho. Bullshit, don't listen to him. Se ela voltar na focada, eu corto teu pau do pés galinha. Is he hallucinating like old girl was with the water? Cause I know I just saw a flying saucer. <laughs> Dono João também doou mil livros para a comunidade. A gente, como sempre, vai usar os que tiverem proveito. Tá? O Brasol 4 é o um inibidor do humor e comportamento só que disfarçado de um analgésico forte. É um remédio consumido no Brasil inteiro por milhões de pessoas e não me perguntem por quê em forma de supositório que é o que nós vende. That part about the pills that you could take as suppository, that well, not pills, the medicine you could take as suppository that's a mood inhibitor that is sold as a painkiller, that was interesting. That she still gave them the option to do it instead of just throwing it all away. I thought she was just going to throw it all away. She just seemed to throw her amount away and said y'all have the option to. <laughs> Who's speaking English? Oh, okay, so that is a drone. That's not a uh, <laughs> that's not a spaceship. <laughs> and they work for hey, for them. The old man's cabin is also isolated. Damiano is his name. We don't give a fuck what his name is. Me and Willie will be paying him a visit. Yeah, we won the draw. The draw? Like what? Look at it. Yeah, they about to kill them. They messed up some sort of plan. Yeehaw, y'all are a bunch of cowboys, ain't you? Where are you from? We come from south of Brazil. It's a very rich region with... German and Italian colonies. Yeah. More like you guys. Like us? Yeah. <laughs> They're not white, are they? <laughs> How could it be like us? We're white. You're not white. Your lips and her nose give it away, you know? More like white Mexicans, really. We could be Italian. And she could be Polish. Don't ever get it twisted. They don't think you're one of them. My man brought up the colonizer's name. Like, that was going to make them like them, like. Hey, man. They out here cooning. Oh. oh. Whoever it was in their ear told him, like, kill him. I'm going to talk with Lunga. Lunga? The man vale more for the bad and for the good he can do. Lunga. I was trying to figure out how they going to get out of this, and yeah. They killed seven from today. Seven. Furaram o caminhão de Erivaldo inteiro. Peraí, mataram Erivaldo também? Não, não mataram Erivaldo. Vai voltar seu pacote? He was trying to leave that life behind. We had a name change and everything. I've been hearing this song my entire life. I don't know what it means. He shot that boy. That motherfucker. Yo. Don't leave. Oh. Y'all about to die. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. Look, you fucking maniac. He was a child, man. He wasn't older than nine years old. A child, okay? Not a criminal. 
Terry, how old are you? Terry, how old are you? That scream is supposed to scare somebody? Shut your old Nazi ass up. Amen. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Now kill this bitch! Bow! Dumped on her. Help me. Help you? Wait, why I say speaking Portuguese? My name tell me what it says. What is going on here? The bitch using Google Translate to plead for her life. I fuck with this seed heavy. Why are you doing this? Mm. Dog, a lot of these shots and the ambiance and the sounds have been perfect. They're just old cars. Well, that's a warning. Let's move. That's a warning. All right. Two people. A man and a woman. Wait a minute. Is she Theo's T? <laughs> Is she Theo's teacher from uh, the Cosby show? And I think she was Brazilian on the show and she put on the glasses. That's why I say it. This woman looks like an older version of that woman from the show. Oh, shit. Whose blood is that? Amber? Mujer? Are they dead? Mm. Out of here. Oh, she dead too, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is interesting like it's almost as if she's welcoming him like hey welcome in welcome 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 to our land and the way they killed the the dude and then told the girl hey we'll help you it's like this isn't out of anger this is just out of protection like hey we got to protect ourselves we got the coffins wait but why are they bringing in coffins did you shoot her hell no I did not. I don't kill women. This motherfucker is stealing artifacts like a true colonizer. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, dump on her. <laughs> Yo, what? the ancestor came and said, nah, 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 we're not done with you. That was, that was, that was crazy. They're naming off everybody that died? Yeah, I think so. They brought out all the caskets. They, it don't seem like they take no solace in this at all, man. Hell no. Damn, it's part of the museum now. See, like that right there. She says, unfortunately, it's like, it ain't a victory for them. They like, it's just something they had to do uh, again, it seems. Isso aqui, isso aqui não vai ficar barato não, Nunga. Eu mesmo vou morrer por causa disso. Isso aqui em menos de 24 horas vai virar cinza. Isso aí não tem ciúme não, não sei quem é não, Nunga. Os dez de grita aí, menino. Tony! Yo, my man is out. You promised! A paz interior que tanto necessita em meus faxeiros. Gogó é banda garu, favela, chique, chique. Facts, get your bitch ass out of here. Furo que se abraça gostosamente com seu povo. Pai da mentira. Yo, that's a cold way to go out, man. A DJ just listing off everything about you. Eu acho que ele já foi uma boa pessoa. Você não acha, Domingas? Já teve mãe. You see what I mean? Like they, they take pity on them. This 
is only the beginning! Yeah! First, let me start by saying don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification. Shout out to all the new viewers and shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank y'all. Especially shout out to Brazil for suggesting this film. I knew nothing about it. Didn't even know it existed until it started being recommended. As I said in the intro, I looked it up and I wanted to check out something before I started watching it. Didn't want to go in too blind. It's the next day. I had to sleep on it. I, I, normally, every single review I do, 99% of them, I take the headphones off and I go right into doing the review after the reaction. This one I had to sleep on. There were so many themes in it. It was so much. It was dense. It's a dense film. And I'm not sure. I can't speak and say that I understand exactly what the filmmakers were going for, but I can say what I got out of it, what I think maybe they were going for. I had to write stuff down for this. That's how dense it was. So first I want to say Sonia Braga was on the Cosby show. And that's crazy. That shows how much that, show meant to me that I remembered her that when I saw her as an older woman it, she stuck she stuck out to me and I'm like oh that's her so it turns out that was her that that was pretty dope this film I believe I said it in the reaction is surreal yet nothing in this film was unrealistic for the filmmakers to utilize a western motif as the backdrop for this was dope. Even though it takes place in the future and it takes place in Brazil, those old Westerns work perfect for the story they were trying to tell here. Um, we have this sort of town that's all by itself. It takes a while to get to. You have to drive into it. Um, anything they get has to be brought in somebody or someone has to go out. The first thing we see is the young lady bringing in the medicine from out of town. Then we had these things that just reminded me of the film, all the coffins, right? Like that, that's very, that's like a Sergio Leone theme, right? Like, so these things that were happening, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Western, but this story was all its own. and. One of the first things I noticed was the community that was portrayed in this. This was a free community. A lot of people talk about freedom and liberty and all that. This place was free as hell. Look at how everything was set up. We, we, we saw a relationship that had a trans woman, a man, and, a, and another man. We saw a group of prostitutes. It was old woman young man, young woman. We saw a lesbian couple who was, who was older, right? We saw everything. We saw kids. We saw all these people living in harmony. No one judging anyone. No one like, oh, that's a prostitute. Oh, you're going to a prostitute. No one, uh, no one, it didn't it seem from this film that in this community, anyone had any issues with the other they it was live and let live and the doctor for instance uh dominguez when she comes up they had received stuff from that politician okay we're going to get back to the politician because i have a bunch to say about him but they're standing in front of everybody and First, the man gets up and speak. The black man with the glasses says what he says. Then she gets up. She points out the medicine that is said to be a painkiller, but is a mood inhibitor. She tells him what it is. And even at this moment, 
I see the trash can. I'm thinking she's going to dump this shit out. That's not what she does. She goes, she tells him what it is. And she goes, if you so choose, you can do it. And I was looking at that like, huh? Like that. We're talking about true freedom there, right? That the libertarians over here in America, this is, this is what they talk about. This is that type of stuff that they say. But for her to be like, yeah, she knows it's bad. Okay, whatever. I'll take care of him. There was a young girl that was drunk. She wasn't chastising her or nothing like that. She just told her, hey, I'll get you over your hangover. Um, a guy came in and he was dealing, he was dealing with her. And she's like, hey, go lay down. Uh, I think he said he had like a fight with his wife or something like that. She's like, hey, go lay down of that bed. There was no judgments or anything like that. Now, mind you, they're not robots or anything. Like I said, one young girl is drunk. This guy had an issue with his wife. They still had issues. This wasn't some sort of utopia. They're not pushing it because it's a community and they're living as free as they are that this is a utopia. No, what they're showing is they still knew how to deal with the issues that arose. Like, I, I love the portrayal of this community. Even uh, Lunga, I think his name was. Early on, they referred to Lunga as her. So when I, when I see him or see her or whatever, I'm like, yo, what? Now we, do, we talk about the pronoun thing. So it's like, they live in as free as possible. No judgment. Lunga, he's outside the town. My man is, he, he trying to help them. You know what I mean? In a way to the point where they're cheering them on. But as my man said, we don't have any thieves. When he gave that speech about Carmelita basically being a matriarch and they had all these people that were together and they, they were a family. He listed everything. He was like, but we don't have no thieves. And that was the issue. The thing is, Lunga is trying to, he's trying to get them something that'll help them, right? And that's another thing. They have to go out and get water. The resources, there's a, stru there's a stranglehold on the resources. So now we're getting into the allegory of this film. And it's like, that resource, the most important water, it's a stranglehold on it. And even though they're able to get some, it's like, it should just be theirs. It's the land, like they live on the land, but they have to go out and get it and bring it in. And, it, and it's some sort of a hassle. Then we have the arrival of this politician. The politician is talking a whole bunch of shit and he arrives with a bunch of books. And the books are under the guise of, Hey, I'm helping you guys out, right? I'm giving y'all something that'll help you. It'll help you learn. So we live in the information age, right? And I always talk about this when it comes over here, when we start talking about uh, people's senses being dulled or revolution being quelled by what we receive in the media. It will come under the guise of, oh, this is to help you. The internet is to help you, right? You get all the information you want. But think about how many hours we spend on it. And it sort of keeps our minds off of things, right? It, it, you, you, you'll be riled up and you go on that and you'll lose yourself. You'll, it actually makes you able to go to sleep at night. You, 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 for that day or that little bit of time, you forget. And that's what he was trying to do, right? He's giving them the books under, oh, yeah, yeah, these books are for you. Trying to get them to forget what he's doing. So when... They mention the books and they mention the supplies. Everybody starts laughing and giggling because they know what's up. The whole community is like, oh, yeah, he gave us some books. But watch this. They didn't throw those away, right? No, they utilized it. Uh, we're going to take the books. We're going to separate them. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, we're, there was so much depth and information in this that it was like, oh, I see where we're going with this. This, this makes sense, right? Um, let's see. Let's see what I wrote. Let's, let's see some of the things I wrote, right? Uh, there was a thing about this community that, that it was, they were making it a point to do. All of the elders played a part that you could see. It wasn't like esoteric or anything. You could just straight up see it. The old man playing the guitar, his third eye was open. <laughs> when, 
when those two people who had killed, I mean, those two people who had worked for the, the white folks that came down there to hunt, he, he saw them. He could see right through them. You know what I mean? He's an, he's an artist and his mind is open and his eye is open. So he's questioning them. Right. And I thought that was dope. Then we have, okay, Carmelita, who comes back later as an ancestor. And she was the exclamation point on the situation. It was almost like she was the finality. Like, mm, now you got to go deal with our people. Right. And then we had the, the, the old lady with the glasses. She, when she walks up and she puts the mask on the politician as he goes away on the donkey or the mule or whatever. And I'm like, see, I see what, I see what's going on here. They, they don't discard their elderly. They, the elderly still have a place of importance. And I'm looking at this once again. They showing straight community, even down to the skin tones of the people. You already told me how Brazil is. Y'all mixed a lot within the same families. You have black, brown, white. Like, so I'm looking at this like, oh, this is a representation of straight community. Which makes me think that politician is a representation of your political system. But it was still familiar to me. Right? This man is coming, saying what he's saying, but on the other hand, he's selling y'all out. For us, it's corporations. Because we the, we the big capitalist system in this, you know what I mean? That, that's our thing. So for us, they will sell us out to a corporation quick. They'll come and talk all that big stuff, but whoever has the most money for these politicians, that's who they'll be sold out to. What I got from this was, it seems as if that politician, he was selling y'all out to the so-called Western, Westernized societies or whatever. And I'm looking at these people. They made sure to make them not be militarized. Like they're not military. They were using these old whack weapons. They were LARPing, you know, live action role playing. Like I'm looking at them like, oh, they want to be tough so bad. But this is something that we talk about over here. Okay. Suffering is a commodity in these, in the so-called first world or the global north. Suffering is a commodity, whether it's music, your culture, your, uh, your films. Like, I know this is a black American. Our suffering can be sold. It could be monetized. What, what, hip hop over all these years the most well-known and most sold and the most big time music is all about black suffering within the wilderness of North America. I know for a fact that suffering is a commodity from other places, Africa, South America, uh, Asia. You know why? Because here in America, we're taught exceptionalism, American exceptionalism. Part of that is, okay, yeah, we, we're the best. Our way works. We know what we're doing. We set forth the path that the rest of the world follows. But part of that is in order to make us look that great, what they feed us is the worst of the rest of the world. So when I watched those films about Brazil, a lot of people thought, oh, yo, look at the gringo. He looks surprised. Got to be honest with you. That's what they feed us about y'all anyway. They, it, they make it sound like any place not America is a straight shithole. And anything we see about y'all, it's bad or it's fucking, it's fucking Giselle, right? Motherfucker, listen, for a whole generation, when in America, when they saw Pele, Pele, that was the first black person they saw from Brazil and realized, oh, there's black people there? For a whole generation, Anderson Silva was the first black person they saw. It was like, oh, wait, <laughs> there's black people from Brazil? Like, what we receive about the rest of the world is y'all suffering. And I'm looking at those hunters killing and hunting people. They, look at them. They were just regular people, right? These were just normal people who were, who were just LARPing. They made it a point for these to be some regular everyday people. The Western world consumes suffering, dog. To see those people sit at a table and basically bet on, no, this is ours, no, that is ours. But at the end of the day, it was all about taking lives. Man, they, like, I, I got what they were trying to say there. Let's see. Um, 
Another thing that I admired about the community as portrayed in this film was I'm from over here, America, so-called West, like I said, so-called Global North. In a capitalist system, success is measured by getting the bag, right? That, that's our slang for getting money, right? And because of that, it is so far in the culture that it, our culture is based on that. So, for instance, the way we could tell if you even love somebody is how much money you spent on them. That, that's the way capitalism works. But I'm looking at this community in here and it's like, uh, fuck all that. The way we show love is by being willing to lay down our life for each other. Things will get rough, things will get hard, things will get tough. But as a community, if we stay bonded, you know I got your back. And I'm looking at this like, yo, this is crazy. Then there's another theme in this that was crazy. Within that community, the most vulnerable were the first to be taken out. They're, they're talking to that group of, to those two Brazilians who are working with the hunters and they get killed. You have a child that gets killed. You have a prostitute. She gets used up, right? Prost sex workers are some of the most used, abused, and Ill, like they're not protected at all. This film was showing that. Like the, the least protected people will get got first. But then you have people who are willing to put their lives on the line. Doctors that the doctor in this film, she was a signal. She was signifying that like the, when the. When the prostitute got taken away, what she said to the politician and those people, you can tell her whole thing is I'm all about protecting. She protects so much and she a doctor so much and she about that oath so much that even when those scumbag motherfuckers came in there trying to hunt them down she did her duty and tried to save them even the people tried to save them a young girl was on the ground dying she had just come to try to kill them and they asked her you want to live or die gave her the choice even in even in even in who we would consider an enemy of theirs they're like they're giving them the choice and it seems that this community had figured out it's all about choice that's true freedom and you cannot forsake that even with your worst enemy otherwise we're, we're going to become them this is all idyllic by the way i'm not saying this is how the world works this is how it should work I'm talking about the film and i'm saying the ideals that the film is professing um they didn't have any vengeance in their heart while all of this was going on it seems as if it was all about protecting themselves it was part duty and part instinct the instinct comes from this had happened before. They have a whole museum showing, hey, these people will keep coming. And at the end of the film, the guy said, oh, this is just the beginning. Yeah, this is going to keep happening. But like I said, it's like instinct. It's like, it's like clockwork for them. They're like, we know what we got to do. We, we know what you got to do. They went into the museum and got those old weapons off like, oh, it's time again. And then, of course, it's their duty. Like, we got to keep this going. It's their duty so much that in death, Carmelita came back and like I said, put the exclamation point on that. I fuck with this movie. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense to anyone or if y'all feel like I'm just bullshitting, but yo, I got so much out of this. Um, let's see. The cotton gin. They made it a point to put the cotton gin in this film from Massachusetts. I'm a black American. But when I saw the cotton gin, the first thing in my mind was like, oh, they're back. <laughs> um, to see them sit at the table, this, this is a scene that got me the most. So to see those people sitting at the table trying to plead their case, like, oh, yeah, we, we like y'all. We're from the, the south, south of Brazil. And he invokes who cop colonize that part the italians and the germans and i'm looking like yo yo that's my man you you over here trying to get in good with them by like hey hey hey, we're one of y'all right like like hey the colonizer yeah, you know a german he like gave a little nod and they like wait you're not one of us and it's one of those things like don't get it twisted well i i know this for a fact in america when motherfuckers get over here they realize one or two things Either I'm, I can pass as white or, hey, yeah, 
we just a group over in America. We just Latin in America. That that's how we treat things. And those people sitting at the table, that's how they saw them. You see how they're in Brazil, and my man said, "Oh, like a white Mexican," because that's the only thing he had to base it off of. So to see them react that way, I'm like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, I I get that. That's like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Where you're from, yes, you may be." A certain race, but in America or in the Western world, they still think of you as an as an other. So yeah, man, I this was I, I just I'm looking at this and I'm like, I get what it was trying to say, but I want y'all to let me know in the comment section. I think I got a good idea of this. How was this film received? I, I feel like I gotta I have a good idea about this because if a film like this was made over here, I know how it'd be received. On our nightly news, we'd have some guy talking about it's demonizing white people and stuff like that. So, hey, man, I like this movie. I enjoyed it. Next movie.